Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, we should have a pretty interesting one here. I'm not sure if this has been done yet, but we're going to do a little bit of an update retail uh, battle, if you want to call it, just to see what, what's the best format. Uh, but this one is going to be three blasters versus one hanger. Um, now, I'm not doing this because I actually think the hanger can win. I just, this is what I could find at Walmart. Uh, so we're going to see. Just figured it'd be a little fun thing to do. Left uh, Someone left one little hanger out there and then they had just restocked blasters. And there was, I don't know, probably 15 of them. So I grabbed a few, grabbed the last hanger. You always got to do that. And uh, we're going to see what happens. Uh, I just had the itch to open some update. Went to the shop today and it was closed. Um, so I stopped by Walmart and luckily found some update. Felt very fortunate. That could have very easily been a strikeout. I'm going to go ahead and try to open everything now. Um, just maybe save some time. I guess I could have done this before the video, but that's no fun. Hoping to pull some big stuff out of here. I've had some okay luck with retail. Nothing crazy. Definitely better with hangers than blasters. My blasters have been pretty pretty bad. Uh, I opened a couple last weekend. I think I hit a, I hit my first one Soto short print that's not with the rest of the non-base cards. It was very interesting. I hadn't, I'd seen it in videos, but I hadn't seen it in person yet. I finally hit one. It was like, I don't know, third or fourth card in my pack. It was, it was very weird, but we did hit one. I've got that now. Let's see. Hopefully this hanger is something monstrous in it. I mean, I've seen some pretty crazy ones lately, and it was the last one there, so maybe we'll maybe we'll get lucky. The blasters, I just kind of took the first ones I saw, so no no magic there. All right, so there, here we go. Uh, hard to say who's going to win this one. It's tough. Uh, we'll do the hanger, I think, to see what we got and set the precedent kind of for the for the rip. See if we can start off really strong. I think we have a die cut in here. I don't know if that means anything. We will go ahead and take all the base off just because it's not super important. I'm not too into the rookies. We've seen enough of those by now. Uh, oh, we have a numbered card in here. Looks like it's going to be a green ice. I don't see the name or anything. Uh, but we will go from the back. Got a CJ Abrams on the 87 and a Bryce Harper die cut. Our MLB, Stars of the MLB, any rookies? Kinsey Gore, it's our only rookie on there. Uh, okay, so let's see what we got here. Looks like a rainbow foil, probably an all star game behind this green ice. So we'll take that one. And Mookie Betts, all star game. Our rainbow foil, it's upside down. It's going to be. It is a rookie. It's Renee Pinto for the Rays. Okay, so not a terrible, terrible start. Take a rookie. Looks pretty nice there. Get that sleeved up and on a stand. And then our green ice out of the hanger. Sideways. It's going to be a rookie combos. Would have been nice to hit a Quan or an Arias. Um, we will take that. It's 312 of 499. I'm gonna stick a couple of these up on the stands just so we know what we're working with. So yeah, not a bad hanger at all. Two, technically two rookie cards, um, two rookie parallels, one of them being numbered. Not gonna complain about that, but I don't know how well it'll hold up against three blasters. Might be a bit tough. So we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and get into these. We got a Chrome Stars of the MLB in here. It's going to be Vidal Brujan. At least it's a rookie. Ooh, we have a green behind it. Nice. Jose Miranda green. Beautiful. It's number 62 of 499. Really awesome. That looks nice and centered. Pretty good. I'll have to look at it a bit more closely later. That is a... that I think we might have already beaten the hanger. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting much, but that was quick. <laughs> and we got the Matt Brash 87 and CJ on the Stars the MLB. Get these packs out of the way here. 
like I said, I just wanted to get some update ripped. I was really hoping to find some out in the wild, and I did. So, uh, pretty happy about that. There we go, there's a Julio right on front. It's nice. Flip through these, like I said, not gonna spend too much time. Clayton, got a O'Neill Cruz. This one's gonna have our helmet. I think we'll save that for the end. The Bobby right on the back. It's gonna be nice. And nothing in there except the Bobby. Man, Jose Miranda, that's the, I think it's the second parallel I've pulled of him. I pulled a gold foil that I think I have at PSA right now. I should be getting that back pretty soon. Nice Cardinals card on the front. So we just have an 87 in here with the Kyle Schwarber and Brandon Crawford to their stars. Making sure that Arias wasn't a short print. I haven't had very good luck with short print rookies. I hit, I don't know if I've talked about this before, I probably have, but I hit a CJ Abrams that was really off center in like my first round of retail when this first came out, and then I didn't hit any more through, you know, two jumbo cases. Um, and then my two, there's an all-star game, Harper. Let me make sure I didn't miss like a short print in front of that. I don't think I did. Um, I hit another one in two jumbo cases. It took, I opened two jumbo boxes on Christmas and I hit a Bobby SP that is also coming back from PSA soon. But other than those two, I haven't hit uh, really much of anything. Short print wise, nothing crazy. Uh, so we have a Paragons in here. It's gonna be George Brett. It's actually one of the ones, that was the last one I needed for the set. Um, I just hit that the other day. Uh, we're down to our helmet in the first blaster. See if we can get a parallel relic. Sometimes these have some other cards in here. Yeah, it looks like we got a black gold take from the back. Bo Bichette is our black gold. I need the Royce Lewis to complete the set. He's the last one I need. I don't know how I haven't hit him yet. Uh, nice Shohei batting all-star game and Jaron Duran. Let's see, we also have a rainbow foil. This pack is crazy. I just gave it away. This is Aaron Savale. And our helmet. Glaber Torres, that is, helmet is really blue. I've expected it to be black. Um, okay, so not a parallel, it's just the regular one. I can't stand those, they have not a ton of value and they're very hard to sell. <laughs> uh, and they, they're very thick, you can't really put them in anything. Really annoying, I wish they would just make like normal, normal sized manufactured relics. We have another chrome in here. Um, Let's see if we have another numbered card in front of it. We don't. Maybe behind it. I don't know. Uh, our Chrome is another rookie. It looks like Mackenzie Gore. So we'll take that. Pretty nice there. Two for two on rookies with those. Uh, we got Javi Baez, George Springer All-Star, and CJ on the Stars of the MLB. I'll stick this with the uh, Bruhan down there. I don't think it's too special. It'd be really nice to hit a parallel of those. I love the the parallels of the stars of the MLB, especially the chromes, they look really nice. Next up, got a rainbow foil in here, it looks like. Do we have it backwards? Nope. Uh, let's see what we got. Upside down. Not a rookie, Jake McGee. We have a generation now of Vidal Brujan. Back, another Jerinder. Or second or third one of those. All Star game with Machado with another Bobby on the back. Nice. Take those. Forgot to grab that All Star game. There it is. See what we got. First lowest debut, Acuna on the uh, 87, and then Crawford stars the MLB. Come on, let's hit something really big. This is a nice short print. Tim Hazley, Matt Chapman. Oh, hope it's not in there. 
last pack before our second helmet relic. Oh, looks like we got a gold in here. Uh-oh. Drop this pack. <laughs> uh, go from the back on our stars. It's going to be Correa. Aaron Judge, all-star game. Get a die cut of Rogers Hornsby. And our gold, upside down, of course. It's going to be not a rookie, Steven Duggar. 2022. So since that Miranda haven't gotten too too much, um, not going to complain. Though. I mean, that's a pretty sweet hit for a blaster. Our second helmet relic coming up, and then we'll get into our last box here. See what we got. Just one card on the back this time. It's O'Neill Cruz. Anything on the front doesn't look like it. Helmet Relic is Trevor's Story. So not a parallel again, just a regular gigantic heavy helmet card. It's probably one of my least favorite manufactured relics they've put in here. I mean, it's, it seems less cheap just because it's very heavy metal, um, but that's also what makes it not as appealing. Uh, we got a green ice in the first pack of this one, so we'll go from the back here. Got a George Kirby 87, Kirk on the All-Star game, and our... Stars MLB is O'Neill Cruz. Just get right to it. Reveal it with the Matt Strong. It's not upside down. It's also not a rookie. Starling Marte for the Mats. Nice. Big fan of Marte. Love that we signed him. He's a very, very good player. Excited to see if he can stay healthy this year. He's going to be a big contributor. It's $4.99. So that's our third uh, green ice of the video. That's kind of crazy. At least two of them are rookies, and the other was a Starling Marte for my Mets. Can't complain about that. Let's see. Nothing in here, it looks like. Just another Jaron Duran. He's all over the place. It's our helmet. We'll save it for the end. Freddie Freeman All-Star Game, uh, another Brandon Crawford on the back. We're coming up on Series 1, guys. I think we're only two, less than three weeks away, maybe two and a half weeks now. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to pre-order a couple jumbo boxes of that, as usual. You know, you guys know I love jumbos. Hopefully hit some nice uh, silver pack cards, maybe some of the nice rookies. Uh, we'll do our best. So I've got a Chrome Stars MLB in here. Chapman, 87 of Gabriel Arias. I think I saw a White Sox, probably Tim Anderson. Oh, we did get a short print. Nice. Oh, it's Torkelson, too. It's the Tigers. Wow, what a pack there. So we got Mark McGuire, short print. Should just be a regular. Yeah, 59. Pretty cool there. It looks very nice. And then, uh, actually a decent chrome here, Spencer Torkelson. So definitely our best one so far. We hit a chrome in every blaster. I don't know if that's the how the odds stack up, but I will take it for sure. Some of this over, maybe. That should do. All right, two more packs here until our helmet, and then that'll be it. Not too much here. Just a Kikuchi and a Correa. Uh, we got a rainbow foil and a die cut and an all-star game in here. Pretty loaded pack at the end. Uh, we'll go from the back with the Hunter Green. It's the first time we've seen that one today. All-Star Game, Joe Musgrove. Die cut is Jimmy Fox. And our Rainbow Foil. And not a rookie, Brad Miller. So last pack here is our Helmet Relic. Maybe we'll get something in here, I doubt it. We've gotten a lot of stuff in this one already. Never know. So we got a Generation Now of Bobby Witt. We'll take that. And a Bobby Witt right behind it, so nice Bobby pack there. Maybe we'll finish it off with a Bobby helmet. Let's see, oh, we got a blue. Wow, this is their first. This is the only blue we've hit today. Is that crazy? Three blasters and a hanger. We hit one retail blue. It is a and it's Stephen Kwan. Look at that. I think I saw our helmet already. Oh, it's a parallel too. Wow. So our helmet is Josh Donaldson, two ninety seven of two ninety nine. So we did hit a parallel helmet, and our last pack was a Stephen Kwan Blue. True rookie. Very nice. 
So really solid opening there. I guess I'll go ahead and do a little, little recap of this. So, <laughs> I think that was in there. Yeah, those are on blaster. So hanger, hanger box, Renee Pinto, rookie rainbow foil, and a green ice to $4.99 uh, rookie combos. Not bad. I mean, you're not usually just going to open one hanger, hopefully. So for one hanger, that is very, very solid. Um, you can't really compete with three blasters usually, I would say. So we hit Glaber and Trevor Story on the regular helmet relics and a black Josh Donaldson to $2.99. I don't know how rare those are, but that's pretty cool. I usually don't hit numbered ones. Uh, and then our blasters, our regular hits. We got the McKinsey Gore and the Vidal Brujan on the Stars MLB Chrome. Pretty cool. Uh, one gold, Steven Duggar, 2022. Really nice Starling Marte, green to $4.99. Big fan of that one. Really cool Mark McGuire short print. I haven't pulled this one yet. That was awesome for the on the Oakland A's there. Hit uh, our best chrome, Stars MLB, was Spencer Torkelson. Take that. And our two best hits, uh, actually really surprised about this. Really awesome pulls here. Jose Miranda, true rookie, green eyes, 62 of 4.99. And uh, last pack, Stephen Kwan Blue, true rookie. Probably the first Kwan parallel I've pulled, so really happy with that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, not sure if I'll be opening more update. If I can get some jumbos at a good price, I will. But as far as retail and all that, uh, once Series 1 comes out, I'll probably be, be done for the most part. But... Uh, <clears throat> Like I said, I just wanted to get this out for you, get some more update up on YouTube, up on the channel. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.